everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Python's Realm Season 2. They say that the number 13 is unlucky and today is the 13th episode of the series. So let us hope that we don't get bad luck. In fact, to be honest, in terms of superstitions, the number 13 has actually turned out to be pretty lucky for me in the past. <laughs> so who knows, today might be an exception as well. So yeah, that'll all be good. Hopefully we won't die a whole bunch as well like the last episode. But guys, talking of the last episode, I appreciate all of the support you have been showing for the series. It is really very much appreciated, like I say, and uh, I thank you for it. And of course, guys, let's jump into the panel of today, which simply comes from a user by the name of Winter. And he decided to draw out my Terraria character yielding a blue sword, so I would assume that that is the enchanted sword rather like I've got now. It's really, really awesome, and there's like a Terraria backdrop in the background. He's sort of standing on a pier above an ocean, and it's really, really cool. So, Winter, thank you very much. I appreciate the fan art, buddy. If you guys want to send in your fan art, you can do so using the details on screen and in the description. Now, today, my friend, today, we are going to go ahead and start off by opening these bad boys. Let's see what we get. Rotten eggs. Eh, not too interesting. Oh my god. Well, I'll tell you something. This is certainly interesting. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a creeper with a cape. I am a creeper with a cape. Oh my goodness me. That is amazing. Right. What gives me red dye? Do any of these things give red dye? Uh, strange plant. Do I have the dye? I'm pretty sure I've got the dye trade here. Why have I not been going ahead and doing this stuff? If I can get myself a red creeper... The boys, I am good to go because, uh, you know, then I'll be able to be my Minecraft Creeper character and that would be amazing. Now, despite what I get in this, uh, oh, okay, rotten eggs doesn't really matter anyway. So, let's go ahead and put that away. Let's go ahead and put away our Reaper outfit and, uh, oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, yacht pan. Right, come on then. Reflective gold dye, reflective metal dye, obsidian dye, acid dye. Uh, okay, cool. So, what do we actually get? We got ourselves a bunch of gold. Oh! <gasps> Yes! Dude! I am my Red Creeper character from my Minecraft channel. Is that not one of the greatest things ever? I think it is. Oh, I'll tell you something else as well before we actually get started. Let me just have a look at this. Oh, I could be a Gold Creeper for one or two. Holy crap, that's actually pretty badass. But there is a Terraria achievement whereby if you put a piece of dye in every single slot available to you, you should get something out of it, right? So, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there we go. Die hard. Huh. Yeah. I knew there's something going along. That's pretty cool, actually. Hey, man, I'm actually kind of a fan of the uh, of the gold stuffs, so, you know, the gold equipment. <laughs> That's really, really cool. Hey, man, it's been a long time since I've got an achievement in Terraria. I don't have that many left to get, to be honest. So, uh, so yeah, that's a... That's a thing to consider. Anyway, so let's go and put the dyes in the valuables chest because why not? And you know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna stick with the with the die loadout that I've got because it looks kind of cool. <laughs> All right, guys, so today's episode, we are going to be sporting the molten armor, and then we're going to head underground because I would really like to get the spider armor. That is right, my friends. The spider armor is a fantastic armor set for early hard mode because, of course, it grants you the ability to have multiple, multiple, you know, minions that do a bunch of damage for you. And as a result, you can get your way through hard mode pretty darn easily. And uh, actually, talking of being easy, I would very much like to make some peace candles as well. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe we require platinum candles or something like that. And then some uh, some chains. Okay, so we've got some chains here. Uh, so where does one make a candle? Is it like here? Does one make a candle here? No, we've got the REK3000 though. I mean, that's a good way to save inventory space. Awesome. Right, so where do we do these things? Is it at an anvil? I don't know. Huh, I'm gonna have to research this. Aha! Peace candle. It requires pink torches from the pink gel that you get from the little, what are they called? Pinkies. And uh, yeah, you require two platinum bars as well. So there we go. We can make uh, we can make six of them if we really wanted to. But I'm thinking that three will do us for now. So uh, yeah, let's put this stuff away. Okay, put all that away. Put that away. Pink torches as well. Uh... I'll put it in the furniture chest, why not? Alright, and then all I need is a little bit in the platforms department, and then we can actually place these bad boys. So, let's grab some of that. Uh, let's go ahead and place down some stuffs. In fact, you know what? I'm going to put one right there. There we go. Peace candle. Uh, decreased monster spawn rate. I'm hoping that that will be uh, of a decent amount as well. 
Because if not, then uh, we could be in a bit of trouble, I guess. Because otherwise, we're just going to get constantly bombarded by enemies. And I tell you something, I ain't about that life, you know what I'm saying? Right, anyway, so, uh, let's get out of it. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. We just need to deal with the trash real quick, as it were. Hello. <laughs> what the hell? These guys just, these guys are just a bunch of poo heads, if you ask me. 700 health. You think that's a lot? Go on, get out of it. You're a joke. You're an embarrassment to your kind and all enemy kind and all that kind of stuff. Why don't you just get deaded? Come on! Get destroyed! Come on! Get out of here! Come on! Okay, right. So, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put one down here. Okay, so a little bit of that. So, does that go all the way across? Uh, uh, almost. I kind of want the entire area to be covered, though. So, uh, maybe instead, I'd, like, try to do a little something down here. Right? So, if I do one there, put that one there, and then we can move this one elsewhere. Because why not? There we go. And then we'll put one on the right-hand side of the base. So, then we've sort of got the whole basis covered, right? So, if we head over this way, uh, and, you know what? I think here... Might be a nice idea. So let's put one there. Let's put one here. And there we go. Decrease monster spawn rate, my friends. Lamias, please cease and desist. You are very, very annoying. Jeez, man. Oh, hello. Ancient cloth. Interesting. Right, you don't need to die, and I need to find myself a freaking spider vibe. So I'll tell you what, let's get on with it, shall we? Oh, dear. Look at this crimsonified freaking elevator now. This is the disaster zone, to be honest. But anyways, here we go. This is probably the nearest spider biome that we have. Hmm. I don't know, man. We need to try and find as many spiders as we possibly can. So maybe uh, all i got to do is sort of hang around this area. Maybe a whole bunch will spawn in or something. Uh, good day. Good day. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello. Hi. Hi. My name is Python. I will destroy you. I really, really will. Can you, like, get deaded, please? I'd appreciate it. There you go. All right. Good stuff. Right. And there's absolutely no spiders. Well, that's great, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, man. There's probably easier ways to farm out spiders than what I'm doing right now. Oh, good day to you. What the? What? They can freeze you in a cobweb? I did not know that. That is interesting to know. <laughs> I swear to God, I've never seen them attack like that before. Is that something new? I don't know. I just don't know. Huh. Okay, right, good day. Hey, okay, so if I'm up the top, they start spawning down the bottom. So, actually, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty useful. Huh. All right, well, uh, I guess all we got to do is sort of just grind this thing out. I mean, if I hang up here, then a whole bunch of dudes will probably wind up spawning at the bottom. Uh, so if we head down here, uh, yeah, as you can see, there's like two more. Hey, not bad. All right, so we've got our farming strat under wraps, which is always nice. I'll tell you what else would be nice, though, is finding ourselves... Oh, a soul of night. Okay. We're inadvertently farming souls of night as well, which is pretty cool. But, uh, oh, the bound wizard is around us somewhere. Oh, we should go find him because he's kind of useful to our cause. Uh, you are not, though, sir. You need to go away. Right, good day. Bound wizard, are you around us somewhere? Oh, buddy. Bound wizard? Where is he? He must be around us somewhere. His tooltip thingy isn't going away. Hmm. All right. Time to go on the hunt. Oh, well, maybe not. He's right there. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's fair enough. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. You don't spoil my moment, you son of a gun. That ain't gonna happen there, sunshine. All right, good day to you, sir. Why don't you go ahead and summon your... Oh, a wizard's hat. That's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, we may have to sport that in the next episode. Crystal Ball is pretty good. Uh, mana Potions, Bell, Harp. Uh, I think the Harp is made into a weapon later or down the line. One of the original great weapons in Terraria. So, you know, that's pretty cool. You know, go back to the old days, as it were. But, uh, yeah. All right, not bad, not bad. Let's get on with farming some of these buttheads. All righty, guys. So I think I'm going to make these guys my last recluses to take out of the game. I mean, we've got 57 right now. Once again, I don't actually know how much I need. But uh, obviously, we'll find that out in just a second here. There we go. Get absolutely destroyed, yeah, bunch of butts. Hey, I also got a goodie bag out of it all as well, which I guess is pretty okay. <laughs> 
cool. All right, so we have many things going on, including NPCs having a bit of a weird party. I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, I mean, I'd be down to join that if I could. If my head could do that, then pff, you know, that'd be cool. But if not, then I think my head would just have a massive spasm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Right, let's get you put away. We've got a Souls of Night. Oh, I didn't I didn't take into consideration putting in hard mode stuff's chests, did I? Huh. Well, maybe. Here's an idea. Maybe I'll put hard mode stuff's in the safe. Does that sound like a good idea? I think that sounds like a good idea. Then I can take all of the souls and whatnots with me wherever the hell I wind up. So, yeah. Alright, sounds like a good idea. Uh, we've got a harp as well. Might, might as well put that in there because that's another hard mode thing. In fact, pretty much anything here. Uh, wizard's hat. Crystal ball could go in the furniture chest because that's just what it is. So, there you go. Wizard's hat, you could go in here. We'll become a wizard in a future episode because why not? And, uh, yeah. Aside from that, everything's looking good. Alright, so. Can we... Yes or no? Can we actually make this straight off the rip or do we need to have a mithril anvil? Uh, oh, we can. You can make it straight out. Okay. Uh, 8 plus 12 is 20. So we need 36 for the armor set. Okay. So let's go ahead and make it. There we go. Bit of that, bit of that, and a bit of that. So we have 26 remaining. And queen spider stuff takes 24. Wow. And then we've got the regular spider stuff uh, only using 16. The queen spider stuff, if I remember correctly, is a sentry style summon weapon. So I'm probably going to go for this one for the simple fact that I'll be able to summon more of them. So yeah, let's do this. There we go. 10 of them left. Cool. Right. I'm going to try and get some more damage up in this business because I would really like to do that. All right. Good day. What is this? Rubbish. Hey, Godly's kind of nice. I'll take that. Okay, so we are going from 36 defense down to 31, but we do gain a whole bunch. A whole bunch of dudes. A whole bunch of dudes. And, uh, Fat Imp Dude, I think your time has come to be retired. There you go. Hey, look at that. They're absolutely destroying everybody already. How fantastic is that? <laughs> nice. All right, you can go in there, buddy. And uh, everything else can pretty much go away. All right. So I don't know why I keep putting this stuff down. <laughs> or picking it back up, should I say. So, yeah. The imp stuff is now pretty much done for. We don't really need it anymore. So we'll put that in a weapons chest. And uh, we'll move on with our day. And talking of moving on, I think the next thing I'd quite like to do is start upgrading my gear. I'd really like to get an Oracalc and pickaxe. In fact, no. Before then, we need to go ahead and break a whole bunch of altars, don't we? Aha! Yes, let's not forget about that. Alrighty guys, the time hath come to destroy a bunch of altars and see what kind of ores we have. We already have Palladium, as you guys know. We broke an altar in the last episode. In fact, I'll tell you something, there's some right here. Why don't we start making a bit of an effort to start collecting some? In fact, you know what? I think this is the first load I've actually seen, so uh, yeah. <laughs> That's why we didn't dig up any in the last episode, because I just didn't see any. Alright, cool. Alright, let's go ahead and pick it all up. There we go, and there we go. There is one of those guys. That they're, they're dead. Or well, it's dead. He's dead. The thing is dead. Yeah, boy. Alright, well, whatever the case, there is a bunch of altars pretty much everywhere. And as you guys know, upon breaking an altar, two thi well, three things happen. First of which, some new hard mode ores will generate. The second thing is, uh, there is a chance of either a hallowed block or a Crimsonified block spawning randomly in your world, therefore making it spread in a different direction. And the third thing it does is it completely starts swarming you with wraiths. And as you can see, I, or as you can hear, I just heard them coming in. Where you at, buddy? I hear you. Hello, good day to you. Oh my god, my spiders will destroy you. The spiders are actually my friends for once. They're normally my mortal enemy, but for once, they are actually on my side. How about that? <laughs> cool. Alright, let's see how many more of these altars we could destroy. There's one just down there. Uh, we don't need to worry about leaving any behind because there are a whole bunch right next to our base. So all is good there. <laughs> Look at him. My spiders are doing all the work. <laughs> so we have Palladium, Mithril and Adamantite, which is pretty cool. I mean, I've got no, uh, I've got no issues with that. Pretty, pretty awesome. Alright, good day. Ah, oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. They're just taking everybody down. Taking names. Brilliant. Get wrecked. Uh, good day. Hello. Hello. <laughs> the oncoming Wraith army 
hath got destroyed many times over. I'm not even doing anything anymore and he's still getting killed. Get wrecked, you freaking butt. Ha <laughs> Well, that's one crimson taken out of the- There's a mimic around here somewhere. Where? Where? Must take mimic down. Must take mimic down. Where is he? He might have something good on him. Down here? Hello? Mimic? Where the heck's the mimic? I don't know, man. Maybe down here? Uh, well, I don't freaking see him, man. Oh, what's going Oh, Jesus! Thanks! You freaking scared me half to death there, brother. Uh, okay, right. Well, the mimic's despawned. Nah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, on to the next crimson. Ah, dang it. And of course we had to have a freaking Hallowified jungle. That's just a bunch of balls. We don't have a surface hallow whatsoever on this world. Man, that really, really sucks, actually, because I love how the hallow looks on the surface. Uh, curse this world for having such a large jungle biome. Although saying that, we are coming across the edge of the jungle biome. No, maybe not. Ah, oh, I was thinking that maybe the hallowed stretched all this way, but uh, nah. We're going to have to make our own hallowed biome, aren't we? Which, luckily, isn't actually that difficult to do, but... You know, it still kind of sucks. I kind of enjoy it when I get a, a proper surface hallowed forest biome type thing. So yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah. The drunk terrain generation is coming up. Um, well, this is it. As you can see, the, the crimson chasm is like literally out in the air. Which is very strange indeed. I have never seen the likes of it. Like when I first come across this, I was like, um, what? <laughs> and uh, yeah, as you can see... For good reason. This should not be the case. This is Terraria just being very, very strange. But you know what? I kind of like it. That's Terraria's charm. It's Terraria's charm being slightly strange and not realistic, I guess. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's very strange, but also kind of cool. All right, so let's continue heading down. There should be... Oh, hello. That is a lot of palladium. Look at this. Jesus, hell. Look at this, man. There's loads of it. Uh... In the meantime, my spiders are absolutely destroying everybody, and I'll tell you something, that is really, really awesome. So thank you very much, little spitters. I love thee very much. Yes, I do. All right, give me that palladium. There we go. How much are we actually going to get? We got 160? Wow. Like I said, we haven't even been properly mining yet. That is nuts. Just finding it in the crimson alone. That's awesome. There's some up there, but you know what? I think a hundred and what? 172 bits. I think that may be enough for what we want it for. So, yeah. I'm not too fussed about picking up that lot. You watch. Famous last words. I'll be like one bar short of making the whole set. That is my kind of luck, guys. That is my kind of luck. So, yeah. Anyways. Uh, right. There's one there. There's one just over here. Boom. There we go. Let's kill all these guys. Maybe we can get ourselves an accessory. No, just some candy apple heart things. Uh, I'll have some of that though. And another death weed. Hey, I'll take that any day. Hey, I'll take one of these as well. Sweet. All right, I think we're good to go. All right, let's go home, my friends. We're going home and we're going to see what kind of things we can make with the palladium that we picked up. Hopefully, we can make ourselves something good. And you know what? I'm pretty sure you can make these things into bricks as well. So it would be kind of cool to make ourselves a, a palladium section for, you know, the... the eventual mining house. I think I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, clean this area, purify it, and then shield it off. It's going to be a pretty difficult project, but it's something that I do still want to do. The uh, the mining house project anthill thing. So, yeah. Anyways. So, let's go ahead and start making ourselves some armor. What do we want? That is the question, isn't it? I don't actually know. Do we want ourselves magic Stuffs? Do we want ranged stuffs? Do we want melee stuffs? Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking that I want to be a tank for a little bit, so... Hmm. Yeah, maybe we go for the mask. It's got 14 uh, extra defense, so let's go and have a look. Going from 31 defense up to 43. That's an increase of 12, which is pretty incredible, actually. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. But, ladies and gentlemen, 
I think that's just about going to wrap it up for this episode. Before heading off, of course, we're going to go and jump into the comment question of the video. Coming from Mason Richardson. Will you ever make a Terraria console edition playthrough? Also, keep up the great work. Hey, man, I appreciate the kind words. Uh, sadly, I don't really have any intentions whatsoever of playing the console edition of Terraria. It's, uh, well, it's not even in 1.3 yet. I know there's a whole bunch of debate as to when it's actually being released because it keeps getting delayed. But uh, either way, I don't have any intentions on doing a console edition playthrough. I apologize if that disappoints you guys, but, you know, for me, PC is where it's at and that's where it will keep being at. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, like I said, got to wrap up the episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, a like rating would be super appreciated. It is the best way by far of letting me know if you want to continue seeing more. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And guys, most importantly, we did not die on episode 13. How about that, eh? <laughs> oh, dear. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I appreciate your continued support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.